Hey developers, so today we have something really cool. We're gonna look at some brand new fancy View 3 projects that you guys can look at today. Now I have found a handful of these View 3 projects and the reason I wanna share it with you guys is because when you're learning View 3, I think one of the best ways to learn is to see how other people did it. So we're gonna look at a handful of websites. The source code is going to be available for all these. I'll make sure the links are in the description so you can follow along. Oh yeah, and uh, since I'm, we're talking about Vue 3, I actually do have my own Vue 3 course. This Vue 3 course is called the Vue 3 Comprehensive Course. You can see it right here. It's Deliver Powerful Applications with Vue 3. I will put a link for this in the description and inside the comments. So if you are interested, it's a really cool course. It has, as you can see here, all these different modules. It's over three hours long and it's a really affordable price and you get a Slack community. There's tons of information. We have over 30 different examples of code. So we actually have full projects. We have sample code for everything. It's just a ton of great information. So check out my new View 3 course. Links in the description. All right, so let's just jump on into it. So the first website, the first project I want to talk to you guys is created by Black Sonic. It's called the View 3 Playground. You can see it was just uh, updated on September 20th and it actually has its own demo so you can kind of take a look at it. So uh, this one, the reason I included this on the list is it has some nice features. It has a whole form here. Um, you can see here it has this kind of cart interface so it's almost like you're having, you're building this like a, a, a practice cart, a sample, a shopping cart. It has like payments, has credit card, debit card. You can have this checkout page. Now, if you look at the source code, I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see with my head, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make me myself a little smaller here. So, if you look at the source code right here, the source in JavaScript, uh, there is a couple of different things. There is code for normal JavaScript. So you can see how he did it. Now, this is all in Vue three, so it'll have uh, the setup function. You'll have watches. You can see there's this watch effect and watch. We have on mounted, so we have lifecycle hooks. We have uh, on updated. We have checkout system. There's a whole uh, hooks. Um, there's there's hooks that he's using inside here, and it also what what's really cool is here's the hooks file right here. It also has TypeScript. So if you want to see how these examples are done in TypeScript, you can take a look at that. And I'm looking here. Here's the hooks one in TypeScript. You can see he has this product, which is an interface. Um, I would the only maybe slight against this repo is that the TypeScript is pretty simple. I didn't see types for everything. I think there's multiple ways of doing types and you can really, in your TypeScript, you can really do a lot more types, but I think this is a great example of how to use TypeScript and how to use Vue 3. So I would check it out, link in the description. The next one I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Vite Tailwind Starter. If you don't know, Vite is a really cool tool to create really fast, uh, apps in, in view. So this one is using Vite. It has Tailwind. I actually downloaded it, started it up here. You can see, you can kind of get an idea of how they used Vite. So here's the home. They have a not found. These are just views. And then inside the app view, you can see there's a lot of code in here, but at the bottom, we have this data object. Uh, so you could, I, I think this is a kind of cool example of using Vue 3 and using it, this template. Um, I, it doesn't have a ton of Vue 3 setup functions and changes in it, but I think it's kind of a neat little template you can use. I wanted to include it and I think things that are neat, I'm going to show you guys. So yeah, I would check out this Vite Tailwind Starter. Uh, next up, this isn't really a project, but I just want to give a shout out to StackBlitz that actually have a Vue 3 section so you can create your Vue 3 apps really quickly. I know a lot of people use CodePen and there's a lot of these different services, but I've used uh, I've used a ton of um, these ones and I really like Stack, Stack Blitz, so this is the one I recommend. If you just click on it, if you go to stackblitz.com, you can fork it and then you basically have a Vue 3 app out of the box. You see here's Vue 3. And then you can start testing this stuff out using the setup function, things like that. So yeah, quick shout out to Stack Blitz. Next up is a movie app. So this is uh, on a dev article. It's a build a movie search app using the view composition API. Uh, I really like this because it has just tons of information on how you would set up this app. Um, you can see here it uses this return function. Here's the setup. 
well, here's this, this is set up right here. He's taking out the search and emit. You can see how he's doing it in here. He even has some hooks, so, and he's using this watch function to grab stuff and at, stuff out of this API. So this is a really cool example of, of using the view composition API. And you can obviously get the code for this and try it out yourself. So I, I know, and this is another one I would check out. I don't think it actually has a sample project. Yeah, here's the source code. Oh wait, the final application. Let's see if it's up and running. Oh, it's on Code Sandbox, even perfect. I didn't even notice that when I first read this. Yeah, so you can see right here, here it is, Composition API. This one's been around for a while. I may have even mentioned it in another view video, but you know, you can put in whatever you want in here. I don't know, Batman, and here's all the different Batman movies, and it's using that Composition API. So if you are uncomfortable with the Composition API, this is certainly a good way to go. And yeah, you can see he has his own hooks where he's using this watch function. Use this use movie API. So if you're coming from the React world, you obviously see this use keyword a lot. And you know, unlike the Tailwind starter, we actually have pretty good, pretty good examples of your here of using the composition API. So I would check that out. Oh yeah, and by the way, he is the same person that created the View 3 playground. So there you go. Another one you might want to check out is this View 3 real world app. So this is this there's there's the examples this real world repo where it's just tons of examples of using different frameworks and libraries and so someone created a view 3 one which is cool so there's actually a demo here and it's looks like it's a just a feed of data I'm not sure where this is coming from but they call it conduit if we look at the source code I'm not going to get into it too much but they do use composable, so they're using hooks, obviously, and using TypeScript. So which this, once again, a, a great way of learning TypeScript is see the way other people are using TypeScript, and this is a pretty good example of it. Um, looks like they are, I haven't looked at this, but yeah, they're definitely using records. They're, they're definitely trying to use TypeScript in the right way, because you can add TypeScript to a project and do it the wrong way by not adding any types to anything. So it's good, good they're doing that, and I think they're using uh, some sort of, I, I think they're probably using a store as well. And if you if you want to check that out, well, um, you can check it out. Oh, by the way, here is the V Tailwind. This went around with the starter that I was mentioning before. So V comes with View Three out of the box, and this is the uh, the starter for it. And this is what it looks like. So if you want to use Tailwind with it, you can kind of take. A look. I also want to give credit to uh, we mentioned Black Sonic a few times, but he actually has this awesome View Three repo. If you don't know what Awesome View is, it's a repo that has basically it's a repo of other repos that has tons of great tutorials information. And so I got some of these examples from there. So you can see here he has a bunch of articles, he has a bunch of packages and examples. I didn't even mention a few of them. Like there's a View Three To Do app that someone had created, uh, Shetland J. There's also a Vue 3 reactivity app, which you could see right here, um, which is made by Greg. There's also um, Vue cart with imports. So there's tons of Vue related examples that you can find in this repo, which I wanna give credit to because that's where I found some of these. Uh, it even has some uh, uh, view, view videos too, view videos. So like the ones by Evan Yu. I need to put some of my videos. I don't, I do not see any of my videos. So if you're watching, you've made it all the way to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I thanks. Thank you. I'll put a link to this repo. If you would be so kind to put a pull request up to add one of my videos and also my course, because of course I have my new course which you can find here at course.viewcourse.tech slash view3, which is my new view3 comprehensive course where I go through everything you need to know to get started with view3. It's like basically like a three hour workshop on view3. It's great for beginners all the way to advanced and uh, you know covers composition API, V model updates, TypeScript and view, fragments, suspense, testing, teleports, everything you want. So if you're watching all the way to the end here, you notice that going through all these different repos and learning takes a lot of time but getting my course will save you time it will certainly will because i will teach you what you need to know and you can see here it is pretty reasonably priced if i don't say so myself so once again please check out this uh view three course it's course at viewcourse.tech i'll make sure the link's in the description or slash view three that is and i really appreciate it and also make sure you check out the black sonic awesome view three repo thanks 
Oh yeah, and if you made it this far and you've heard screaming in the background, those are my kids. Oh well. 